Good morning, beautiful people. I'm down here. I'm down here. The bottom of your screen. Welcome. This is Pilates Fusion. Fender ball. Foam roller. These are the tools we're going to play with today. Ah, it's Sandy. There we go. Came into the light. So just set those up to the side. I'm going to face you. And we're just going to sit. Stay starting off seated. Whatever feels comfortable for you, if you want one foot in front of the other, if you want one foot on top of the other, whatever feels good for your hip. I just want to take a moment and as you're sitting up nice and tall, shoulders relaxed down, feel the sit bones anchor into the floor. Close your eyes for a moment and take some nice deep inhales through your nose. Inhale the rib cage and exhale searching through the lips. A couple more of those nice deep inhale. Feeling all of the stress, the tension, anything you're holding in your body, just let it exhale. Okay, one more time. Big inhale through the nose. And exhale. Let's do that a couple more times because somebody's given me a message. So I want to make sure. I know last time I music a bit loud thank you i didn't have my music loud enough in my strong class the other day all right is that better with the music thumbs up okay good thank you for letting me know that all right find that zen again good and on your next breath i want you to float both arms inhale reach the arms up to the ceiling exhale forward fold just round just as if you were standing Take the arms in front of you, reach them away. Push your sit bones back away from you as you reach the hands out in front. Your gaze is straight down on the floor. Good, let's walk the hands over to the left side. Both hands still anchoring into both hips. Just push into that opposite hip a little bit farther. Good, bring the hands back center and walk the hands over to the opposite side. And push into that opposite hip. Good. Walk the hands back center and then walk them all the way back up. So you're sitting up nice and tall again. One more time. Big inhale, exhale. Float that right arm down. Take the hand to the floor and make sure that you're still anchoring into that opposite side and just bring that hand over top. And again, inhale, exhale, come back up center and opposite side. So we're just gonna flow through each time you're just pushing a little bit farther. Inhale, exhale, back over to the right side. And what your goal is, is to try to come down to the elbow as you start to feel a little warmer and a little more blood flow. Inhale, exhale, back over to the right. Try to place that left elbow or right elbow on the floor. Inhale, exhale, and over to the left side. Arm is still going over the top. Now notice as you're flowing through this, if you're getting the elbow down, but is your hip, the opposite hip still anchored on the floor? If it is, good. If it's coming up a little bit, then you just try to, try to avoid putting that elbow down on the floor. A couple more times to each side. This actually feels so good for me. I get so tight through that um, TFL, through the hip flexors, and good. Perfect. And then I want you to go over to that right side, but I want you to take your left arm and reach it towards the right side and then back and other side. Place that left hand on the floor and reach that right arm over. Still anchoring through your sit bones. And again, to the right side. If you can go down on your elbow, do so. And then left side, reach it through. One more time. Finding that breath, good, and opposite side, excellent, come back to center, another big inhale, I want you to forward fold, reach the arms up, inhale, exhale, sit bones still anchored and bring the arms up, one more time, just reach it forward, tuck in through that belly, and then come all the way up, float the arms down, bring the legs out in front of you, place the hands on the floor, with the feet hip width apart, I just want you to let the knees fall over to the right side and then to the left side. So 
Just let them fall over whatever feels good. Your hips are facing the ceiling, side to side. I think I ran into my dog here. He got all over me, I see on black. And just flip it side to side. Good, and we're gonna keep progressing this. So some of us are a little tight through our hip flexors. Our knees won't go all the way to the floor. That is okay if that is how, what's happening with you. Let's go one more time to the right side. And then I want you to anchor that right leg, keep this one lifted, and just lift the hip and take that left arm to the ceiling. Hold it there for a moment. So I'm pushing through my hip. My right knee is anchored and my left leg is nice and long. Come back down, float the knees over to the opposite side. The left knee goes down and lift straight up. Driving the hips to the ceiling, just hold that stretch. Inhale, exhale, drop it down. Float that right knee over, lift up through the left leg. Use that glute. Hold and inhale, exhale, float it down, opposite side. And once again, we're gonna progress this a little bit more. So float, keep both feet anchored onto the floor. Just lift your hips. Right leg is, uh, right hand is anchored left to the ceiling. So a reverse bridge, come on back down, opposite side. Lift it up, hold it there. So you're actively using the hamstrings, the butt, the core, and let's switch it over to the opposite side. Now, if this is too much for you, you go back to one knee down and flip it other side. Let's do a couple more on each side. Now, everybody's range of motion is a little bit different, but hold that hot second at the top to where you really feel your hips open, you feel the glutes active, you feel those hamstrings working, your feet are anchored into the floor. And switch. Good, and one more time to the right. And one more time to the left. Abs are in tight. Beautiful, come down, place both hands behind you, okay? I like to turn my hands a little bit to the side, my fingertips. If you want to turn them towards you, back, whatever feels best for your wrist, okay? okay? Inhale, exhale. I'm just going to reverse bridge right here. Gaze is up at the ceiling and just hold. Now you're actively still squeezing your knees towards each other. Hold that there. Let your piece fell out. And we'll put it back in my little ear and cover it up. Just breathe. Inhale, exhale, drop the butt back down. Good morning, Shark. And lift it up again. So lift and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop that butt, butt back down and lift it again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop it back down. You got two more. Inhale, exhale, lift and hold, squeeze for four, for three, for two, and one, and last time, tap that butt, lift it back up into the reverse bridge for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and come all the way back down. All right, guys, so we're gonna go on our knees, and if you want, you can uh, put a little pillow underneath your knee, but grab your bender ball, and I'm gonna place it down somewhere in the middle of my inner thighs. And I'm gonna squeeze a little bit closer together. So I'm stacked with my shoulders in line with my hips and my hips in line with my knees. Okay, so what I want you to do, I'm gonna turn sideways so you guys can see the side view. The first thing I want you to do is just reach your arms out, round through the butt, bring the butt back, pop the heels, and then lift straight back up. Okay, so it's a lot of hip action, so just like if you were squatting and then pull the arms down. Reach the arms up, reach the hips back, and then come straight back up, good. Push back and straight back up. So you're squeezing that ball, actively using the inner thighs. Reach back, you're not resting back there. And if the ball is hitting the floor, take it a little bit farther in front. Like mine has kind of given me a an anchor back there and I don't want to use that as an anchor. I just want to use it for the inner thighs. So reach back, squeeze up. Reach back, 
squeeze up. Let's bring the arms all the way overhead, reach them up and pull through. Two more and pull through. And last one and pull through. Gorgeous. Okay, this time, so that was more of a hip action. I want you to bring your arms straight forward. Now squeeze your little butt, both butt cheeks. Reach behind us, okay to touch it and make sure that you're squeezing. Shoulders are drawn down. I just want you to lean back, okay, flat, and then come straight back up. So what do you, what's the difference? Quadriceps, right, and core. Now if it's too much with your arms, leave them by your side. You wanna make it harder, you progress them up here. Yes or yes, it's up to you. Squeeze the butt, hinge back, hold, and then come straight back up. Keep the top of your feet anchored on the floor. Good, and then when you get it back there, hold it. I want you to go a thousand one, woo, yes. And try to push that range of motion, right? Try to make sure that your butt is squeezed tight, your abs are in tight, you're squeezing your Kegels. Some of you that are stronger, take the arms overhead. Try it with me. If your range of motion is a little bit shorter, it's okay. God, we have 15 seconds. I'm not counting. I hate counting. Why? Because I can focus on what I want you guys to do. I can give you little cues, like right now, squeeze that butt even harder. And come up, oh yeah, you got it. Now we're gonna add on. Remember, you can always regress. Yes, oh yes. Last one, you're gonna hold it back there, hold. Now take that bow and arrow with that right arm and just reach it behind you. And then come straight back up. We got eight of these. Pull, you're still leaning back. The quads are on fire. I know it doesn't look like I'm leaning very far back, but that's okay. I'll take it. Six. Use the obliques. Bow and arrow. Pull. Five. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Beautiful. Lean back, team. Lean back. Three. Yes, you can. Two. Woo. Isometric with the legs. Last one. And release. And let's just pull down for a second. Are you guys feeling your quads or is it just me? <laughs> Hello! All right, so staying with that again, come on up. I just switch sides to that bow and arrow we'll do on this side. Keep the top of your feet. Arms are straight forward or overhead. It's up to you. Inhale, exhale, lean back. Come straight back up. So yes, your butt is squeezed. Why? Because that's part of your core. But the main focus here is the quadriceps. Yes, just breathe. You are keeping a flat back. So remember, we're not rounding. You're keeping a flat back. Flat as a board. Everything goes back together. Push that range of motion. There you go. Now we're not starting Heidi, not yet. We're not starting that bow and arrow. We have about a little less than 30 seconds. And then we're gonna start that bow and arrow. Those of you that are stronger, love to progress, love to work a little harder. Maybe you indulged last night. What? I was in bed by nine. Didn't say I went to sleep at nine. <laughs> Woo! Getting busy. Woo, there it is. Just kidding. All right, last one. Hold it back. Arms are right here. Pull that bow and arrow and reach it forward. Hold the back, pull. Seven, inhale, exhale, six, I love it. Inhale, exhale, you're still squeezing the inner thigh. So good, Naj, but don't move your upper body. Just twist it around that corner. Four more. Three, so good, yes. Two, last one, and release. And forward fold. Go into child pose just for a second. Reach those arms straight out. And beautiful, guys. All right, grab your ball. Come on up. We're gonna do a reverse lunge in a three pulse. And you're gonna take the ball, squeezing it this way. So you're actively using your chest, a little bit of shoulders, a little bit of arms. And we're gonna go across that front leg, okay? 
So what I want you to do is stand with your feet hip width apart. We're gonna take the right leg back first, yes? So take it back in a reverse lunge. Now, you're just gonna pulse. One, two, three, come back up. Pulse, one, two, three, come up. Start to actively squeeze. Pulse, one, two, three, come back up. Add the rotation across the knee. One, two, three, come back up. Squeeze it, twist it. One, two, three. Now I'm not gonna count anymore, breathe. Come back up, yes. Bring that knee lower to the floor. It's hovering, front leg is anchored, but hamstring, core, you've got it. Guys, I wanna see that ball, smash it. Nice Heidi, there you go. And one, two, crunch, twist, you've got it. We have less than 20 seconds. So a three reverse pulse rotation. Yes, Sandy. How's that ball? Woo! Pulse, push, drive up. Excellent. You got it. Last one. And come all the way up. Excellent. All right, so we're just gonna go right into the opposite side. Remember on the rotation, your hips do not move. From the belly button up, like a wine bottle, a corkscrew, you're trying to twist really using your oblique. So push the ball, uh, shoulders down, actively using the chest. Here we go, left leg, reverse lunge. One, two, three, come up. So we're just finding our balance here before we add the rotation. One more, pulse it lower, lower, lower. Next one, add the twist, here we go. Squeeze, 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 come on up, yes. Now I'm not putting very much weight on the opposite leg when I come straight back up. I'm coming on my toe, rotate. Can I, can you pop your ball? That's what I want you to visualize. Squeeze that ball. Draw it in. Gorgeous. Ooh. So good. Really feel that front leg, hamstring, spread your toes, butt cheek. Couple more. And you know my couple is more than one or two. <laughs> right? That's how I get extra work out of you. Beautiful, guys. Push it back, twist, breathe through it. I love it. Come on, Jen. Come on, Lisa. Here we go. Last one. Good, Heidi. Reach, lower, twist, and beautiful. All right, come on down to the floor. We're still going to use your um, ball. Now, if this is too much, because I'm going to progress, because we only have 45 minutes, I'm going to progress to the toughest right away. But if it's too much, you just set the ball off to the floor, off to the side, yes? Can we do that? So I'm going to place the ball under my right leg. I'm on all fours, palms are in line with my shoulders, okay? Knees are in line with the hips. Now, if you got a side mirror, guys, look at your rib cage. It's not here. And it's not like this. So you have to lift up and find that flat back. Now, if you're on the ball, suggestion. Keep that foot on the floor. Gaze is down. I want you to gently lift up the opposite leg and lengthen it long and just hold. So we're just going to hold this for 30 seconds. If that feels good, then lift up the foot that's on the bender ball. So my foot on my right side now is not on the floor. That just engaged a lot more core. 10 seconds. Show me. Yeah, three, two, set that leg back down. Gorgeous. So some of you tried it and then went right back. If you can, once you find the balance, lift up the toe. See how my toe is anchored? And then I lift it. That just makes it harder and I know you can try it. Keep that right there. Now. Inhale, exhale, and take off. The left arm is reaching straight forward. 
and just hold. Gaze is down. Just hold. Lift up through the rib cage. Beautiful. And set it back down. Now we're going to that left leg. We're going to keep the hands anchored and we're going to drive the left knee into the left elbow and then push it back out for 10 of them. Progression is the foot's off the floor. Try one if you want, or just keep that foot anchored. Here we go. Draw the belly button in. Extend the left leg. Bring that knee to the elbow and push it away. Slow. Bring it in. Push it away. Now I'm gonna try lifting. There we go. Bring it in. If I can do it, I know you can too. Spiral the elbows together. There is four. Breathe through it. You have to squeeze the pelvic girdle halfway. You got four more. Yes. So that ball, that bender ball, is creating less center of gravity. Woo! One more. Push it away. Just hold. 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 Gaze is down. Lift up through the ribcage for five, four, three, two. Set that knee down. Take that bender ball out from that knee. So good. How do we do, guys? Right? Now, if you have a full bender ball, that's going to be really hard. If you notice, mine really has uh, very little air in it. So you can kind of pull that and let some air out. And yes, I would like pull it with your mouth because that's what I always do. All right, so let's try it with the other side. Let's try the arm first. So the bender ball is underneath my left side. I'm gonna keep my left foot anchored at first. Spiral the elbows towards each other. Inhale, exhale, and just extend that right arm. Notice, did you have to shift your body? Try to stay balanced on the left arm, the right knee, and the left knee. Hold and just breathe. Pick a spot on the floor and just focus on it. All control. Set that right arm down. Here we go. Opposite leg. Extend that left leg um, behind you. I'm sorry, right leg. Whatever leg is not on the ball and just hold for 30 seconds. I just lifted my foot, and there's a lot of wind in here. It's like there's a big earthquake. <laughs> I'm shaking. I'll set that foot back down. Stabilize just a little bit. 15 seconds. Hold it for 30. Keep lifting up through the rib cage. Keep breathing. That leg is nice and long. Flat, tabletop. Hip is dropped to the floor. Both hips are even. Three, two. Bring that knee back in. And yes, so you got it. On the next set of 10, we're going to bring that knee towards the elbow. 10 of them, keep in mind, if you finish before I do, that means that you rip through them pretty fast. I want these really slow. Toe can be up or anchored. Find your position. Lift up through the rib cage. Inhale, exhale, extend that leg and breathe. Inhale, bring the knee to the elbow. Push it away, exhale. Good. And push it away. Each one, whew, each one is better than the last one. Your range of motion is increasing. You feel that strong. Stabilizers working. Good. We're almost halfway. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Love it, guys. So good. Four more. It's okay if you put that foot down. Three. Remember, it's just about getting yourself stronger today. Push it away. Two. And last one. And push it away. Set that knee down. Set the ball off to the side. And just give me a child's pose. Oh, stretch it out. So good. Excellent. All right, set that bender ball off to the side. So we're still, um, might get back to it again, but let's start off on the foam roller. My favorite thing to do on the foam roller is just a get up, okay? Not full standing. 
but just work in the core. So I want your butt crack right at the end. And then when you lay all the way back, your head will still be on the foam roller. So situate, especially if you have a long body, anchor the feet into the floor, kick the feet a little bit wider to help yourself. Oh, no, <laughs> that's a little short. It's okay, you can still do this on the floor. So hang on to your um, quadriceps, your thighs, your hamstrings, and then just round, slowly going down one vertebrae at a time. And then resituate once you get down at the bottom. Ugh. So you feel your butt crack and your spine all the way up to the head is on the foam roller. Yes or yes? Perfect. What I want you to think about is squeezing your butt cheek, which activates the core through that pelvic girdle, right? Through that pelvic floor first. So squeeze the Kegels, obliques, and then erectus abdominis. Feet are wide, use your hands. You can grab behind your hamstrings and just start to round, tuck it up one vertebrae at a time, coming all the way up and then sitting straight back up. So that's where we're going is just to get up. You get it, Sandy. You've been practicing these. I like it. And then you tuck and round down nice and slow. So we're just going to practice these for one minute. If you can only go part way up, you push into the floor and help yourself get up. But just recognize the muscles that you're using to progress. Yes? So slow on the down. Inhale, exhale, tuck. Try to keep your feet anchored on the floor. Tuck and round down nice and slow. If this is easy for you, you know how to progress it. Leave your arms to the ceiling and come up. So the real trick is doing as slow as you can, right? We can all use momentum and really fire and, and wrap it through this, but I want you to go as slow as you can. As you get better at it, which you are, I can already see it, then start to take your arms overhead. Tacking. Good. Less than 30 seconds. So this is all core. Woo! I like it. Nice. Less than 15 seconds. Your hands can be on your chest. Whatever feels best for you. If you need to, you just put those legs and use your legs. You can kick them in the air. And last one. And then slowly roll down, tucking down. Good. All right. So you're still right at the end. If not, resituate yourself. Take your arms to a T. Bring the right leg in tabletop and bring the left leg in tabletop. So I just created instability, correct? If this is too much, you put a foot down. If you can, think light on the hands. So I like to turn my palms up. So I just relax my shoulders down. Now, just find the balance, look up at the ceiling, and I want you to give me a tabletop toe tap slowly with the right side only. Use the breath. Remember, you have to squeeze your Kegels and then left side. You want to avoid using the leg muscles deep within that belly and then keep alternating. So we're just alternating a toe tap. That tabletop position of your leg stays that way all the way down and all the way up. Perfect. Now, for those of you that find this not as challenging, your job is take the opposite arm to the ceiling and toe tap and then come back up center. I'm going to set my right arm down. I'm going to bring my left to the ceiling and now my right hand is going into the table uh, toe tap. So you're just alternating opposite arm to the ceiling, which makes it a little more challenging. I would love to see somebody do both arms to the ceiling. It's a little windy for me today in here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't laugh by foam roller moves. <laughs> You're almost there. Beautiful job. Last one. And excellent. 
float the arms down again to the floor if they're not there, palms are facing up. Extend your arms straight up to the, ce- uh, I'm sorry, your feet straight up to the ceiling. Draw the belly button in. We're just gonna lower both legs. Whatever feels best for you. Inhale, exhale, come straight back up. If it's too much with long legs, because I progressed it, then go back to bent knees, exactly what I'm doing here. This is the regression. Slow. Or try the progression. Your legs are long. And remember, your imprint of your spine on the foam roller. Yes, feel it. Beautiful, guys. Use that breath. So you're doing this for one minute. You have 30 more seconds. I love how you guys are doing them so slow. Gorgeous. So if you know foam roller, you're just doing the same thing on the floor. It still works. Feel that connection from your belly button all the way down to your pubic bone. Coming into the last one. Here we go, last one. Slow. Nice. And bring those knees into your chest. Set that right foot down. Set that, set that left leg down. And then just gently come off to the side. Oh, there we go. So we're coming back up. You're gonna grab your foot, um, but you're also gonna, I'm sorry, grab your ball, your bender ball. And your foam roller is going to be used as um, with part of that reverse lunge that we did earlier. Okay, so we're back to hamstring and butt. Bender ball. So I'm going to place my left, I'm sorry, my right foot onto the foam roller. So the top of the foot. Now, if, yeah, you can do this, Naj. If this is too hard, you'll just go back to the reverse lunge we did in the beginning. So when you take this here, you're gonna push it back. So basically, all I did was roll my shin and I'm gonna twist across for one, two, three, and then I come straight back up. Yes or yes? So that's the progression. Is it tough? Yeah. If I came and gave you guys all easy stuff today, you'd be like, I'm over her. She's not challenging me. (laughs) So keep your shoulders back. Try not to lean forward, okay? If you have to hold on to something, I welcome that. So we're doing this slow. Here we go. Push back and twist across for one, two, three. Drive into that front leg to pull yourself straight back up. Push back, squeeze for one, rotate, two, and three, and squeeze straight back up. So good. Here we go. Push it back and squeeze two and three and pull back up so when you really pull up you're feeling that front heel into the floor working a hamstring and butt use that breath you got less than 30 seconds push it back and twist and push it up gorgeous yes we can Is there a lot of balance going on here? Yes, there is. One, two, let's squeeze one more in there. Woo, I'm on fire. Here we go. Push it back. One, and come all the way back up. Gorgeous, guys. Nice work. All right, push that back behind you, switch into the opposite side. So we feel that front leg really use that uh, power in that muscle to pull you back up. Now, the wider your feet, the better center of gravity. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, push back and twist across. And come straight back up. Push in that ball. Reach back. Oh, Ooh, I got some tight shins on this side. <laughs> Hello. And push it back, and I'm not even running. Yes, Heidi. Twist. Now you're twisting over that front knee. Straight back up. Reach behind. Twist. Twist. 
dig in. Gorgeous, guys. Keep that nice, slow flow with control. Yes, good cat. Straight back up. Push it back. And twist. Two. We got it. Couple more. Push it back. Twist. And excellent. Come up. Last one. Push it back. Get that way behind you. Two and three. And come all the way back up. That was so good. We got one more set of core on your foam roller and you're done. So good. All right, so you're gonna place underneath your knee on the foam roller as I am here. You're gonna walk your hands out and it's like you're in a plank, okay? So spiral the elbows towards each other, pull the abs in. Now, just like if you were on gliders, you're gonna pull your knees into your chest and then push them back away. Notice there's no big height change. It's not a pike, okay? So this is a pike lifting. You're just pulling in and then pushing away. We're gonna do that for 60 seconds. Slow. Yes or yes? All right. We have one more thing after this to work in the obliques and we're done. Inhale, exhale, let's go. Pull both knees towards the elbows. When you go back to that high plank, hold it flat and push it away. Nice. So good. Try not to move. So Shar, what I want you to do, Shar, you have a you have not have a foam roller. So go on gliders. Take your socks or a towel and pull on that um, tile floor and just pull your knees into your chest. So if you don't have a foam roller, guys, anything slick on the floor like a glider and pull your knees in. There you go. Yes. Oh my. That's it, Char. Excellent. You got it, guys. You got less than 10 seconds. I love to watch. Woohoo! One more. Push it away and set your knees down. Take a moment. All right, we're going to finish with obliques. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate side to side. So let me show you first, so you're here. And what I want you to think about doing is pulling to the side. So both knees to the right elbow, push it away. Both knees to the left elbow, push it away. Let me show you from direct. Now some people get a big range of motion and then others it's like, it's just a little bit and it's okay. But just think about where you're feeling the work being done. So fire the elbows. Pull in. It's like I'm lifting my knees off of the floor. The foam roller is only there as a light guide to help me roll them in. Yes or yes? All right, guys, so last thing for one minute. Keep it slow and controlled. Again, big range of motion, short range of motion. You do you, I'll do me, and we'll get it done together. Here we go, three, alternating, two, both knees to the right elbow. Push away. Inhale, exhale. Both knees to the left elbow. Push away. Good. And when you get those there, think of drawing that belly button up through the spine and holding it there for a hot second. Beautiful. If it's tough, good. It should be. There we go. Ooh, what you doing, Heidi? <laughs> yes, yes. You guys got it. I love the slow tempo. Excellent. Boom. 15 seconds, Sandy. Good, 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 good. Five, four, three, two and one so good all right guys and the reason i'm giving you right now five minutes to stretch is because i've had this requested and i do believe we have the foam roller and a lot of us really need to roll our glutes our it bands and um not so much our it bands but our tfl so i want to show you properly how to do that 
So, I'm sitting with the foam roller. I want you to take um, your leg, your right leg, and lengthen it the same direction as the foam roller, okay? So it is exactly in line with the foam roller here. Take your hand behind, and then just roll across that butt cheek, all the way down to the hips, and then back up. So this is the proper way that you roll your glutes. Okay, so the leg is the same direction. If I roll my glute this way, I am making things worse. And the reason is, is your glute muscle is long anyway. So if I roll it this way, the same direction, I'm making it longer, which is gonna create havoc on the hamstrings or the back. So we wanna shorten that. So think of a diamond and then just kind of roll up and down. You can also cross that leg, but the knee is facing the direction of the foam roller, the end of the foam roller. Up to you. Kind of drop all the way down. Ooh. Good, do give me 10 seconds here. And then we're gonna kind of get into that PFL a little bit. Perfect, now just turn on your side, you're on the hip. So we're not going all the way down the foam roller because if you take care of this area up here, you won't have any fascia is issues on the IT band. So you can stack the legs or you can put one in front, but you're just going from the top of your hip down to where you start to feel that leg, the quadricep, and you're just right in that little small area. If you feel something that's uncomfortable, lift the leg and bring the knee forward and extend it back out for three or four times and then roll again. So it's about a little less than a foot in that area that you're, you're rolling here. Notice I am kind of opening my hips because it allows me to get a little bit towards the back side. If you want, you can back the hips or go forward a little bit. Yes, we all need this love. My favorite time to do all this stuff is when I'm watching TV and my Southern charm just started back up and I can watch other people and laugh and not feel the pain through this. <laughs> and nice. All right, so we're just gonna switch right into the opposite side. So I'm gonna spin around. I am now working my left side. I'm gonna take my left leg along with the foam roller. And then I'm just going up and down that glute. Yes. So in that lunge, I don't know about you guys, but I noticed my left shin was tight. So you could always roll your shins on these. Sometimes it's painful. Usually for me, it's not, because I do it often, but I don't know what's up with this left side. And remember, can we stack and do it this way? Yes. That just adds a little bonus, a little pressure. Remember to comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Backyard Fitness by Corey. You guys can follow me on Instagram, my post workouts. Smash that like button. If you want a little more stretch and recovery after class, let me know, comment. Good, all right, let's turn to the side. And again, one side might be a little bit tighter, one side might feel good. Just that TFL, stack the hips, lean forward, kind of play with it, right? There's not too much that things that we could do wrong with the foam roller. There's a couple things. You never want to foam roll your lower back with it crossways. Can you do tennis balls on each side of your spine? Yes, you can, but not the foam roller in that lower back area. Bring that knee in or out. Try to get that muscle to release. Oh, got 10 seconds. We just did each of these for a little under a minute. And beautiful. All right, guys, so seated position is where we started. Seated position is where we will finish. Sitting up nice and tall. Take a moment, stacking the shoulders over the hips. 
Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhaling through perched lips. Letting go of any negative energy. Notice how good you feel today. Last deep inhale through the nose. And exhale. Bring the hands together. Reach them overhead as you take a nice deep inhale. And bring the hands down to heart center. You guys were awesome today. Thank you, thank you, thank you.